So guys, we are going to be fixing a band on the skirt, on the waist. It's the last thing that is remaining to do on the skirt. The skirt is already sewn and all. So I want to show us how to fix a band on a skirt. And then the band is also going to have an elastic band, okay? So you're learning how to fix the band and also learning how to introduce the elastic band. Elastic to your band, okay? You can use this process either for trouser or for skirt. So this is the elastic we are going to be using. It's measuring one inch, okay? It's one inch, right? So this is my band, okay? Already um, folded it. What did I do? How did I get that? I measured my waist. Hmm? I measured my waist round, including, including the zippers allowance. I started like this from this end. I measured it round. I got to this end okay so whatsoever you have you are going to cut it out but do not forget to add now you're going to the length so what I have there is about 40 42 but I made it 45 right when we are done we can always trim off the excess it, it is better to have excess than to be in shorts I always say that okay so the width for the band this part right now is the width okay how wide you want it to be is what width means I want it to be one and a half inch. That is how wide I want my band to be. One and a half inch. Okay. So the width of what I cut out is four inches, right? Four inches, right? So if you fold it like this, hmm, it will give you two inches. You see? Two inches. So unfold like this, I have two inches. When you open it, it becomes four inches. But don't forget that we have to use it on fold like this, okay? Two inches. Now, I mentioned earlier that I want the width of my band to be 1.5 inches, right? And then we have two inches here. Do you understand? Yes. So, I now folded both ends. You see this end? I folded it. I first of all infused my interface to give it a bit of stability. This is called paper stay okay this white substance you can also use your fabric stay, which is also known as air stay right so i infused it to give it a bit of stability and yes to give it a bit of stability and weight okay so what did i do being that we have four inches here and what we are looking for is three inches when it is open when it is closed it is 1.5 so i folded it into two like this it's two inches i now folded it in like this i ironed it in like this with 0 0.5 inch i come to the other end i iron 0 0.5 inch i put it 0 0.5 inch inward like this that was what i did okay i folded it so we'll be left with 1.5 inch you see so like this now we are going to fix it on our skirts don't forget the elastic is one inch so you cannot use one inch band and one inch elastic it will be stuck the elastic will be stuck you don't have anything to sew on at some point okay so if you want your elastic to be smaller and you want to use a one inch band a one inch elastic your fabric should be 1.025 okay <laughs> so what do i do i will first of all sew in my band okay i will place my band this folded part right now i come to the end of the skirt which is the zipper the same thing is applicable if you're fixing a pants trouser so I fold it like this. I first of all fold in a little, let's say like 0 0.75. Fold it like that. So I'm going to pin it down. Just this part. So hold it down for me. And then I'm going to sew it round. So come with me as we sew. To be sure, I'm going to use my tape room. If you notice, I'm placing the right side of the band on the wrong side of the skirt. It is because I want to finish it up on the right side so that I see what I am doing properly. Okay? I want a neat and flawless finishing. Okay. 
hey guys do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not tap on the subscription icon and do well to tap on the notification bell this enables you to get notified each time we drop new videos here on this channel we upload sewing tutorials we upload hardware tutorials and then for your entertainment pleasure we also have shorts shorts african folk stories okay african tales african folks you know those moonlight stories you can watch with your families children spouse neighbor you know and whatever you so you see we have a bit of ss here i'm going to cut it off it's better to have ss i mentioned earlier than for your fabric not to be enough for your band not to be enough it can be difficult joining your job will look tacky okay so i cut that out this still, it still looks a bit big for me okay and then what we did at this beginning we folded a bit in like using 0 0.75 i'm going to replicate the same here you see i'm folding it in like this right and then i'm going to sew So we are done sewing the next thing is to introduce our elastic let me reach out for my pencil so i grab my pencil this is my band i pull it up this way okay so we are going to be working with our darts right so this is here we have our darts for the front panel this is the darts line i'm going to extend it into this band okay i'm going to extend all the darts for the front and the back into the band this is the back side i'm going to extend the darts here by extending i'm just using my pencil to increase the line because i need that line to work with so we are going to measure what we have here what we have here is nine inches okay i'm gonna grab my elastic and look for the quantity that will give me nine inches so nine inches okay i'll make it 10 because we need a bit of seam allowance and then i'll cut it out in two places one to the left and one to the right okay so the next thing for us to do right now i carry one of the elastic band you see this point here we have the extended that's using a pencil i will place my band like this and then i will sew on 0 0.25 Follow me, stay with me guys. I'll pull the elastic. I'm not pulling like this, I'll just bring it like this. So this dart now is the dart for the back. So one side of the back dart into one side of the front dart. Hope you understand. This is the side seam. So I'll bring this now, this way like this, and then I'll sew. Zero point two five. I will do the same to the other side. I backstage for like four times so that it is properly secured and durable. So that's for one side. I come to the other side now. The other side. This is the front. That's also from this front. That's. So this bag that hope you now understand so i take my elastic i place it 0 0.25 and then i backstitch for about four times this is just one method guys there are other methods but 
if you can achieve this you are extremely good good to go good to go so that is it guys we've attached our elastic the same thing you do on the skirt the same thing you do if you are working on a pants trouser so this is what we have okay so we are going to close the band now so i pull out that cuff that we made that fold that we made and then i fold back my my band you see very easy i just fold it back So when you get to where this elastic is, you pull it, you see, it is straight up for you. You just pull it, your band, everything will just fall into place for you. And then you neatly sew, you pull and sew. Right, you get that, continue sewing. Capture. We are just gonna go back to it and capture it. Don't forget when you get to where the elastic is, you pull your band. You see, you just pull it. Everything we align properly, no hassles. So, guys, so done. This is how to fix a band. So, in skirt or to a pants trouser, and also how to introduce elastic to your band. Well, guys, if you found value in this video, please kindly like, share, subscribe, follow us, and all. You see? This is it, guys. This is it. And we are good. And this is the back view. What is left for me is to fix my zippers and good, right? Just fix your zip and you are good. So if you want me to make a tutorial video on how to fix zipper on skirts or pant trouser, please drop it on the comment section below. Okay? Hope you found value. See you guys in our next class.